welcome back to my channel queen of manifesting dreams hope you're all having a wonderful week um what has happened to me this week uh well i actually head off to california on friday today is tuesday so three more days until vacation i'm totally on vacation mode it's crazy but i'm going to disneyland for my birthday slash halloween it's not quite my birthday yet but close enough um my day my birthday is the day after halloween so i've kind of always celebrated it alongside of halloween so i decided to go to disneyland for halloween slash my birthday this year and i'm super excited california is still like 80 degrees right now i'm so ready for the warmth although i love the fall vibes right now but i just i'm not quite ready to get rid of the warm weather yet but in regards to fall weather though i'm going to be showing you guys how to style a leopard print top five different ways for the winter slash fall time and i'm super excited because i just bought this leopard top and i'm obsessed i haven't found a really cute leopard top um i've seen them all over they're really in style but i haven't just fallen in love with any of them and i found this one i'm absolutely in love but of course it was a tank top and more summery feel to it so i wanted to put it in to some fall outfits so that way it can show you guys that any top no matter how summery it is can go into fall and winter so you don't have to be spending your money fall clothes winter clothes summer clothes all those clothes you can literally mix and match things for different seasons so here is the top let me just turn this down so it's a tank top, of course. It has this really pretty lace right here. It kind of comes in a little bit right below the breast and then flows back out. You guys will see a little bit more in my try-ons. But I absolutely love it. It is super flattering, really, really cute. I love the lace detail. Um, it also has kind of a lower back. So I'm really excited to show you guys the outfits that I put together. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, one more thing before we get started though. So I don't know how many subscribers I'm going to be at by the time that I post this video, but I just announced on, um, my do it yourself project room decor video that I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 50 subscribers. So I'm kind of thinking that I want to do a self care basket that provides all the things that I use for my self care, why I use them, and then kind of just add in some special treats that are kind of from me to whoever my special subscriber who's going to win this will get and they'll get to kind of learn about me and get to know about me especially since my first 50 subscribers are going to be you know my main fans from day one they're always going to be people that I hold a special place in my heart for so if you have not subscribed go subscribe to my channel I don't know how many subscribers I'll be at by this point but if I'm not at 50 you better get in so that you can get in on this giveaway. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to do a video all about my self-care basket. And then I'm going to add some things that are kind of fun and mysterious that are about me. Specifically, the only that one subscriber winner from the giveaway is going to be able to get and see. So I'm really excited about that, guys. Um, so stay tuned for that. But as for the fall outfits... For this beautiful leopard top let's get started okay guys so for the first outfit i have a jeans jacket on with a leopard print top and some black denim which i will show you guys here in a minute and i absolutely love the look of this i added a copper colored scarf which i actually didn't think was going to match very well but it ended up being super cute and I loved it and I also have some just little black booties to kind of pair the whole outfit together I love the black denim I have with the buttons up the seam it is super cute and I just love this outfit for the fall time and let me just tell you I got my denim pants jeans jacket and scarf all from and Taylor Loft, which I've worked at for like five years, so I highly recommend getting stuff from there. 
For the second outfit, I paired a large black coat again with the leopard print top and had some high-waisted denim on with, again, some booties. Super cute. I love this. I've always been obsessed with long, super long, like past the knees cardigans or sweaters. And so this was just super comfy, easy to throw on. And I just absolutely love the feel of this. It was cozy and comfortable, but yet still dressed up. And here's a full-size picture of the outfit. Number three is actually one of my personal favorites. This is a really cute wrapped sweater in the back, as you guys can see. And I paired it with the leopard top underneath. So the leopard print is coming out out of the bottom and also really shows in the back as well. I paired it with some gray denim and knee length boots, which is super cute. And also with a copper scarf again. And I absolutely love this. This is my personal favorite out of all of the outfits I put together for you guys. And I just love the look of the leopard print coming out of the sweater. The look of the low back and the knee length boots with the jeans all together. I absolutely love this one. So my style isn't as dressy as I would like it to be just because I love being casual and comfy. But here is a little bit more dressed up style of this leopard print shirt. I paired this with a faux leather maroon skirt and velour long sleeve black cardigan super soft really cute i also did it with some black tights and black booties i think this turned out really cute outfit for wearing to work or going out on the weekends it was just something a little bit more dressed up than what i normally wear outfit number five is very similar to the previous outfit of the black long coat again. This is with a tan longer coat again that I paired with a leopard shirt. Still really, really cute. I also did it with some high waisted denim again with the fray ends, if you guys can tell on there, and some tan booties. I think this outfit turned out really, really cute, and I just love the different combinations of colors that you can wear with this printed top. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope that helped to give you some ideas for some really fun outfits for the fall and winter time. So you can add some animal print or any fun print that you want in there that maybe seems a little bit more on the summery side, but if you put it in with the right type of sweaters or anything like that, you'll be able to accommodate it into your fall and winter wardrobes, no problem. So I really hope that you guys all enjoyed that. I loved those five outfits that I put together. I'm gonna be wearing all of them. Um, Comment below what your favorite outfit was, if it was number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. I want to know which one you guys all thought was the cutest, mostly because when I wear these, I kind of want to know which one's the cutest. I can wear that the most often, but don't forget to subscribe. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm doing a giveaway, so make sure you subscribe. I also have some really awesome things coming, especially my Disneyland vlog in Halloween and my glow up for my trip to California. Definitely stay tuned for that. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know every time that I post videos. But as most of you already know, I always stay to my Wednesdays at 7.30 a.m. Pacific time. So make sure to be checking me out every Wednesday at 7.30 like comment subscribe let me know what your favorite outfit was i love you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you soon